please welcome our 2018 valedictorian. Thank you, graduating class of 2018, for being here today. All the blood, sweat, and tears, but we made it! <laughs> In all honesty, I thought about all the ways my speech could go. In each version, I was never satisfied. No matter how beautiful or intellectual I sounded, there was always something missing. The truth. So, I wrote this instead. I've never known school without rush. Without pressure. I kept telling myself all these years, yeah, I work better under stress. Submitting my papers at 11.59, on a good day, 11.58. Coffee mixed with booze, assignments mixed with Adderall, ecstasy to reward myself for all the hard work I've done. Let's face it, the great thing about your college experience is there's a filter for what your parents know. That is in your control. Because who needs to know the space between class and sleep? What's important is that you did it, no matter the cost. I did school. Even without having windows in my classrooms, I maintain somewhat sane. Without having my mother, I managed to find people to guide me. And of course, I met people just to lose me. From the beginning, school teaches you how to be complacent. Our teachers showed us how to fill in bubbles before we learned two times two. I mean, even in college, math class was a joke. You know what they called it? Math for life. Right. <laughs> this is where we learned about geometry, lines, square root of something. But in my life, I've never had to use any of that. Maybe math for life should have consisted on how to build credit or how to save it when your college debt kills it. You want to know the real math for life? Just to go to the school, it cost each one of us almost $130,000. America owes $1.48 trillion in student debt, and this is spread among 44.2 million of us. Everyone sitting here chose college with the promise of a future. But who chose school just to learn? What does this country look like without every single person in this room owing their life to it, their house to it, their children to it? I don't know that America. Adults like to say, wait till you get out there in the real world. But if that's the real world, then what is school? Make believe? I believe in a system that does not profit off of us failing. A system that wants us to be excited for education, excited for growth, excited to learn from mistakes, encourages taking a break. I believe in a system that does not suffocate us. And as much as I want to say at school, that's not actually how I feel. Because I want kids to go to school. I want school to be a safe space to learn and embrace individual identity. I want kids to learn history. I want them to have textbooks with the faces of the black and brown soldiers who died for us. I want them to know about Tamir Rice so they can understand why black lives matter. I want children to see America with no filter. I want an education system to feel like a playground where you fall and get up because you know after the fall you can, because you know this was all created with effort to never hurt you. I think school hurt me. I think it took something from me, something I'm never getting back. Let us not forget that six months from today will be the start of us paying our life away. Don't you see that we've been working since the beginning, conditioned to feel comfortable, enslaved into this perpetuating cycle? We've learned this pattern since preschool. We know it all too well. And when my speech ends, you will have been in this system at least 20 years. It will take you more time than you have lived to pay back what you owe. So remember the numbers, because as of today, you are a part of that number. 44.2 million Americans are in deep debt from college loans. Congratulations, class of 2018. 
Welcome to America!